Hey there, folks. Um, I've gotten some questions about a device that I use regularly in my YouTube videos, and so I figured I'd show you that. I'm using the screen recording feature of the new Android Pie. Um, I like something, something that I really like about this is all I've done here is I started the screen recording and then I just opened up the camera and uh, without hitting record or anything on the camera, it is now screen recording the camera view of this uh, device. And uh, that then allows me to record whatever I want. So this is a stream. Oh, it's presented by YouTube TV. How appropriate. Uh, this is a, a archive stream of uh, the... Uh, baseball game um the uh game six of the world series oh well it looks like something exciting happened there i just jumped ahead uh in the stream and then it's a youtube commercial there for that this is a google nexus 7 this tablet was produced in 2013. uh this is currently 2019 and uh it's still a really really nice tablet it does a great job on streaming or viewing, uh, uh, reading, and, and huh, you can see my reflection in the screen there. Hi. Uh, you, it does a really nice job for uh, if you want to watch a, a live stream off of Netflix or, in this case, Hulu. Um, it does a, a really good job for those sorts of features. Um, it is super handy for reading books on if you're, uh, oops, that's a game. Actually, I meant to tap on my, uh, 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 my Amazon Kindle and be able to go ahead and watch that, but it's also great for gaming. So I'll let this start up here. Uh, the gaming on this is a little bit slow. And in fact, I'm going to do this, uh, another neat feature of, this is I can flip the camera around and without missing a beat, hopefully. You can see my neat little Washington Nats cap there. Um, I really like the screen recording on this uh, new version of Android Pie. It gives me some real versatility uh, when it comes to doing things on, uh, on my YouTube videos, which I'm just starting out on those. Uh, so if you're watching, welcome. Thanks for tuning in, reshare, uh, and I'll tell you, the features on this screen recording is just incredible, because all I'm doing here, again, is I just pulled up screen recording on Android Pie, I started that, and then I just hopped into the camera, and then I flipped the camera around to uh, face the opposite direction, and now I can do the exact same thing, and without missing a beat, I can come back to the tablet here, and hopefully, maybe... Uh, Oh, well, the tablet went to sleep, but hopefully it is at the point now where, yeah, Star Wars is loaded up and ready to go. Um, this tablet from 2013, I'm not going to say you're going to be able to get it at this price, but I bought it last year for $29 on eBay. I think it was uh, uh, possibly mislabeled by the, the group that I was uh, buying it from. I purchased it as a... Amazon tablet uh, when actually it is a Google Asus Nexus 7 2013 version. There is a 2012 version which is substantially slower. The 2013 has a quad core 1.5 gigahertz processor. Uh, it is capable of just about anything that you want it to do these days. I'll do a little feature on what I'm showing right here. This is the HD home run. I'll do a YouTube video on this sometime. This is actually a, um, a, a piece of equipment that is on my network that I just screw a antenna into, and then it converts the uh, over the air channels to digital streams that I can watch on any of my devices. Uh, it has a Roku app. Uh, it actually does a pretty nice job of, uh, oh, well, here it's retuning to some soap opera on CBS. I was trying just to get the, the guide up. Yeah, you can see here it actually shows you the upcoming shows on each network. It's a pretty cool little feature. 
but it's also just super nice to be able to lay in bed or sit in the living room and pull up the TV that's actually live without uh, having to do some sort of, uh, uh, well, I don't know what other ways you can do that. Oops, look at that. Okay, so there's one drawback is that uh, the my neat little camera feature um, times out after a minute or so of me not doing anything, but all you got to do is tap it again and it's back in business. Uh, did I mention I really like this screen capture feature of uh, the Android device? As you can see here, uh, it pages between uh, its home screens very smoothly and nicely. I can pull up, you know, BBC News or whatever I want to use uh, and switch between those things. Have my email, have weather, and the weather channel. That may flip to a portrait mode if I'm not mistaken let's see yeah see it it went portrait right there on me uh, so you know some of these things are, are not perfect but uh, uh, you know don't don't uh, don't dismiss the good because it's not perfect or however that old saying goes um, but anyways this is a great little device for as I said $29 that I picked it up for uh, you can do all sorts of Really neat stuff. Let's see if my uh, baseball is still at the stream. Um, but yeah, it's it's a super neat piece of equipment. Switch back to the view of me here. Uh, go Nats. Tonight is game seven. I don't know if they're going to win, of course. Uh, hopefully so. Um, I'm in Texas, so a lot of Astros fans here are, are going the other way on that game. But... Hey, we'll see what happens. That's why they play the games. And um, so, yeah, just wanted to show you my Nexus 7. You're going to find in my videos, oftentimes, there's going to be new ways of using old equipment to do cool new things. Uh, I'm still getting my feet wet in the YouTube realm, uh, but um, I maybe have some unique insights that people might want to see. So, you know, once in a while, check out my page. Uh, let me get back to my main screen here. And I'm going to stop the recording. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, and keep sharing and keep joining.